Okay. Hi, everybody. We are in Yaz Island. We're in Fight Island. Welcome to the show. I'm in the ring with Rory. We're going to be going over what just happened last weekend. You guys ready? Yes, sir. Ready? Let's do it. We had the UFC 251 in Yaz Island, the first card. That's right, first card for the big island. First card in Fight Island. I thought it was going to be on a beach. I honestly thought it was going to be on a beach. There was a, an octagon on the beach, kind of as a show piece, something Dream. that they took photos with. Yeah, yeah. But um, the actual fights took place in a closed off... A uh, arena, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this arena is going to be the home for the UFC for the foreseeable future. So they'll have... Yaz Island, they'll have Vegas and Florida, I believe, still active. These three places will be, they'll be constantly running events, right? Yeah, yeah. So let's go over what happened last weekend, just with all those fights. The main event, obviously, like we said in the, that video, the teaser, we weren't very impressed with it. It could have been a lot better. We were expecting a way better main event well, with depends, Masvidal, right? you know, going for the belt after 48 pro fights. Mm. Usman, an exceptional athlete. We thought he would do a lot better in actually defeating Masvidal. Masvidal he's, he's took it that. to five rounds. He's saying that though, he, did, he dominated Masvidal. Yes, he and did. It, the first round, uh, Masvidal came out pretty strong. Really fast, really strong. And I don't think he had the gas tank for it. I don't think he had the, the stamina to come out that fast. I thought maybe if he doesn't finish in the first round, then he knew that he was going to get manhandled. Yeah. And that's what happened. Uh, the first round, Masvidal had some, some good work at the beginning. And then after that, it was all Usman just manhandling about just it, right? manhandling exactly but uh, it was absolute domination i mean personally yeah. it was shite to watch wasn't it really yeah i wasn't too wasn't too impressed with it yeah like i was saying yesterday the ufc is not for usman to become champion it's for my fucking entertainment that's right yeah yeah and we weren't that entertained by that event that, that was, was not fun. especially after 25 minutes from the two fights before, the Jose Yan fight and then the Volkanovski Holloway fight. Yes. To have yeah, another yeah. 25 minutes of Usman just hugging Masvidal. And stomping his foot. Yeah, his foot must be fucked. Every now and then he was doing a Conor McGregor, he was doing a little, a little a shoulder little, jiggle, right? A little rub, yeah. Uh, was, anyway, was lots to talk about with that particular fight, but... To be honest though, what do you think, who do you want to see him fight next? Who do I want to see Masvidal fight? Well, Usman should fight Gilbert Burns, yeah? Gil yeah, Gilbert Burns should be, obviously, because he, after he recovers or yeah. whatever happens with his condition with coronavirus, he gets, yeah, he definitely deserves the next shot. Yeah. What about Masvidal? Yeah, Masvidal, oh man, what do you do with Masvidal now? Two ideas. Okay. I've been thinking about this a lot. Okay, what have you got? Well, the ov obvious choice is Covington. Coven Covington, okay. Coven Covington, so, Masvidal, the big mouth guy, right? Yeah, MAGA hat. Yeah. Uh, Masvidal and Covington used to live together when they were okay. both the American top team. Mm -hmm. And then Covington gets chucked out, so there's a lot of bad blood and shit that they fucking hate each other now. Okay, That's so this will be good. Choice. Who I would like to see Masvidal fight next is Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Okay. Wonderboy Thompson is coming off a win uh, last year. Uh, he's fought Masvidal before. Do you have your mic? Where's your mic? Mic's one, yeah. Oh, nice. Cheeky fucking there. Professional, you know what I mean? Yeah. We've upgraded our shit. We've got flamingos, we've got mics and shit. Yeah, well, we're at Fight Island, right? We're yeah, at Fight yeah, Island. Island. I mean, thanks to the UFC for the invite. Yes. Yeah, it's great to be on the, on the list of media that are now in Fight Island. This is good. Yeah. But yeah, I'd like to see Stephen Thompson. So Stephen sure. Thompson or, or Covington? Covington you... makes more sense now, but I'd like to see Stephen Thompson back in the mix. Mm -hmm. Masvidal said before that he thinks he can beat Thompson if they did run, run it back. Okay. So okay. we'll see. That will Stephen Thompson, I think he's a great fighter. Masvidal, though, he did very well in that fight, right? Defending takedowns and actually his stamina on um, six, da six days notice. What do you think? His no, stamina two, was two days to look at it. Like his, stam his stamina could have been better. I mean, he, did, he, did, he did look tired in the third and fourth, but the, um, his takedown defense was good. But I didn't know what to do with him. Usman's just too strong. If they fight again, I can't see it going any other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like if he, if Masvidal has to go and fight someone else. Hopefully Burns can take the belt off Usman, so we mm -hmm. never have to see him again. And then Masvidal can get a crack at, at Burns. What's your thoughts on you, Usman though, with that kind of performance though? Do you think? I mean, he's he's dominant. I mean, like, with it, everyone always says that the best base to the UFC is a wrestling base because mm -hmm. it's, it's the hardest to deal with. You look at guys like Khabib. Yeah, wrestling yeah. bases and things like that and they are, they are the most dominant a big strong athletic guy like Usman that can wrestle like Usman mm -hmm. he's a hard guy to beat however I don't really want to watch Usman yeah, yeah. stepping someone's toes for 25 minutes yeah, and yeah. you don't pay $60 to, to watch that that's so. right especially for such uh, the hype 
the amount of hype that well, that, was, car, that it was main event aliens. was. They were headlining Fight Island. Masvidal came in on six days notice. Yes. All this shit. And then out that sort of Eating got. pizza on the plane over, speaking yeah. shit, all of this. I mean, yes, man. There's a was... lot of chat about if Masvidal had a full camp. Okay. Masvidal was never out of camp. Yeah. He was helping Poirier train for um, the hooker fight last month. He's extremely, extremely and fit. Yeah. D- Dana White was saying that Masvidal has been flying in the world's greatest wrestlers for the past like six months or something. Prepare. But the Masvidal Usman fight was the fight that was being made. Yeah, yeah. Until maybe two or three weeks ago. Okay. When Bonds won and then he got stepped in. So as far as Masvidal knew, he was fighting Usman. There was only a two or three week break where he wasn't. Okay, so I this, see. This shit about a full camp is, I don't know. There might be something in it, but I didn't really buy it. All right. I got a little surprise. Got my buddy up in Beijing, Ruben. Is it happening? Yep. I, he actually said if I could call him now, because we could get a quote from him on the Rose fight. We can jump. Let's talk about Rose. Let's talk about Rose, that win against Jessica. So I can get um, Ruben's comments. And obviously, because he trains um, Zhang Wei Li. And Yan so we, Yeah, and Yan Xiaonan. We can ask him about their training potentially what fights make be coming next year. Um, so yeah, let's give him a buzz. Calling you, bro. Let me see. I'll get the mic on over to, so everyone can. Uh... All right. Calling Ruben here in Beijing. He's gonna be, oh, he must be, um. Can I call you? He's probably gonna call me now. But yeah, I wanna see what his thoughts are. All right, let's do fights for him. Let me give him a buzz. Is it better? Yeah, I'm just gonna record. Is it better call? Oh, I think so, so I can just fight on the chat. How's it going, man? Yo. Can you hear me all good? So I'm in the ring with Rory here. We're on our little, our, our little fight talk show. Hi, mate. And we are going over the fights that happened in Fight Island. We just went through the main, the main event uh, with Usman and Masvidal. And now we want to talk about uh, the fight Rose won against Jessica. And then you being so close to this division, training all, not, not only Zhang Weili, but the other, what, uh, Yan Xiaonan. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, can we get a little quote from you about what you thought of the fight with Jessica and Rose? What, what did you think about that? How did, how did that fight play out in your head? How did you see it? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, connection's terrible. Yeah, I can hear you. All right, get it go now. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, this connection's nasty, huh? Yeah. Yours is good. The connection's good, yeah. Do you want to try? Here, sir. Hold on, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Let me try here again. <laughs> Terrible connection. Yeah. All right. I hope this works. I hope this works. Oh, I can hear you much better now. Okay. Yes, yeah, much better. better. Okay, Ruben's on. Go ahead. So, uh, what did you think of the Rose Jessica fight that happened just yesterday, just on the weekend? What was your pr- early predictions for that fight? Do you think Rose performed quite well? What do you think of Jessica's performance? Give us your uh, your rundown. Well, since the Andraj fight, you know, we were just wondering to see what improvements Andraj made uh, with her boxing, her distance, and her head movement. And she definitely made she made a lot of adjustments. I mean, she actually looked pretty damn good. We were yeah. actually pretty impressed. Uh, she got in. She caused a lot of damage in the third round. Um, she took a lot of shots, but it didn't seem like they really hurt her. Um, I actually think that Rose. I think it had to do with the um, with the lockdown and quarantine. You know, having access to your normal training facility. I think she was training in her garage. But she didn't look as sharp, at least from from what we saw. Okay. Um, and it, of course she's, of course she's, you know, phenomenal. But if you compare it to the last fight, where she was just dominating uh, Andrade uh, in that first round, um, it, it just seemed like she was a little off. It could have been a travel. It could have been, you know, lack. I don't know. But she 
she just seemed a little, maybe it was a head movement, but she just seemed a little off. Yeah, that's right. I agree. Do you think it could have been a different result if the fight went five rounds? Look, I don't think she was going to stop leaking. I think that yeah. face was going to start bleeding, and I think it would have, you know, she took a couple more shots in the nose. I mean, it's broken, yeah. 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 It's, it's pretty smashed up, so one more round, it could have... It could have been a bad day, yeah. but uh, I, you know that second round, uh, I, I gave it to Rose, but it was pretty damn close. I can see, you know, how some people would thought it was a an Andrej win, but I, I gave it to Rose it was enough to win the fight. Nice. What did you think? Okay, so with um, with uh, oh the Amanda Page fight, what do you what do you think of that fight? The the female fight before it. I mean, that was a uh, oh, that was a one yeah, round the, fight, right? Yeah, the Amba. That's the Rebus uh, fan. Fine zone. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, 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 really, I don't really follow Paige very much because, you know, she's been out for so long with injuries. So I, I thought Rebus was going to win. I didn't think that um, Paige was going to can cause any damage. You have to stay active. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, you have to stay on point. And, it, it, you know, coming off of those types of injuries, I mean, just keel doesn't mean you're 100%. You know, it takes time to heal from some of those big injuries that she was suffering from uh, in her arm. I think it was a couple couple of uh, breaks. So I, I thought it was going to be the way that it ended. I thought it was going to be a submission. Okay. So who's yeah. who's in line for to fight Amanda? Is it Yan Xiaonan? Uh, no, Yan Xiaonan's got a fight with uh, Gadela. Gadela. Oh, yeah. Okay. And some yeah, we're fighting uh, Gadela on uh, September 26th in Las Vegas, we, right? Yeah. Yeah, this will be Vegas. We just started camp last week. Wow. Okay. Wow. Can we get some updates on that as he comes through? Maybe next week and the week after. That's exciting. Daily updates. Daily updates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. So finally, with Rose's performance, how she did, what do you predict if we get... Oh, the, shit, the call ended. Fuck my... Fuck. Chris. Fuck. God damn it. I really want to get in that last question. Yeah, yeah we need them. Yeah. All right, sorry, dude. Last question, I'll let you go. So, if um, if Rose is next to fight Jung Wei Li, what time do you think that'll be next year? And looking at the way Rose performed, what sort of could you tell us about how that, that fight will go between Jung and Rose? And where? Where is it going to be? Where? I, mean, the, I, I think the fight should be Madison Square Garden or somewhere in the U.S. Yeah, I don't think it should be in China. I think it should be in a bigger, you know, global um, U.S. stage. So I would say Madison Square Garden would be my, our first choice. You know, um, I, I think that Rose is going to make adjustments. I think she's going to get back into her strength and conditioning. Um, the, the, key, the key thing is, let's see how long it takes for this nose to heal. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, a couple of shots in a John Wei Lee fight in the nose, in the face like that, and, and she's going to get hit, mm -hmm. um, you know, she, she might start leaking again. So we'll see how they adjust with some of the damage they took from Andrash. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll be prepared for uh, for Rose. I think this fight, her performance, I probably give a little more confidence to Zhang Wei Li because mm -hmm. uh, she hasn't stopped training. Uh, she's in Shanghai right now, and she's been, you know, working on her boxing skills and her wrestling. And, you know, so she's still up to speed if she got the call. She could be ready, you know, in a few weeks to fight. So, uh, I, I think she's going to be okay. Um, so, we'll be ready for the fight. Okay, excellent. Excellent. That is fantastic. Thanks so much, Ruben. And again, could we get some other uh, updates as time goes on with all the camps that you, you're involved with, the Yan Xiaonan, obviously with Zhang Wei Li next year. Could we, get a, could we get some more updates as for the show in the future? Yeah, yeah I just found out today, um, you know, I'm, I'm training... Um, Peloton Hay Lee, um, oh, yeah. and so he's fighting on September 19th. I just found out today, oh, okay. so um, I'm excited about that. So I'll keep you updated on the fighters, and you know I'll check in weekly or so and give you an update. Awesome! Thanks so much, man. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, dude. Ciao, ciao. Peace. Bye. All right, so there you have it from Ruben. Ruben is the, one of the head coaches of Zhang Wei Li's camp. 
And obviously all of, with, with Yan Shao Nan, even uh, Song Yadong, doesn't he train him? No, I think Song Yadong trains in America. I think it's, uh, oh, Li Jing Liang. Li Jing Liang. Li Jing Liang, yeah. So yeah, he's in charge of all their training um, and obviously keeping them ready for fights, whether they be in Asia, in China, or in, or in the US. So that's interesting. So, so yeah. if, if Zhang released, if they're thinking Madison Square Garden, then that could be some time. Yeah, that could be, I mean, it could be probably mid next year, right? Think of, you know. Yan 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 Xiaonan is, is training in China now, mm -hmm. but half rate's going to be in Vegas. That's right, yeah. So do they get, is Vegas open now to foreigners? I guess they're predicting, they're predicting, or what they're going to do is they're going to do what Jiang Wei Li did before, where they'll fly her to some place you know, like, or, like for Ab quarantine. Abu Dhabi, come yeah, over or Tha is Thailand, because didn't Which Peter way? Yan fly from Thailand to Abu Dhabi? Yeah. True. Right? So they'll probably get her to some place, get her to do quarantine. Maybe she'll spend like a couple weeks there, then she'll, she'll move on to, uh, to Vegas. Wow, all right. So going back to the main card, I mean, we just covered, we got, covered a lot of information there with Ruben, with Rose and Jessica, how that fight went. I agree. I think Rose could, usually has done way better, not just in her previous fight with Jessica, but in all her other fights. I mean, she, she didn't look sharp. She started off quite sharp um, as it went to rounds two and round three. Yeah. She didn't look like she wanted to be there. Yeah. Um, Jessica was stronger. Ro Rose won the fight for sure. But like I said to Ruben there, if it went for five rounds, I think it could have been Jessica's fight. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I'm happy she won because I want to see the Rose Jam Wei Li fight. Yes. But I want to see the best Rose. Yeah, yeah. Rose has to be the best if she's going to have any kind of chance against Jam Wei Li. Yeah, the performance she put on yes uh, on last night with that with that that I don't think she could beat Jiang Wei Li now. She's going to really have to uh, to 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 get serious. And Jiang Wei Li has an advantage, right? Because she saw the way that she performed and she's seen how she performed at her best. So I think Jiang Wei Li can really get a full picture of, and really you know, get a, a good toolkit, yeah. you know, going into a fight with, with, with Rose. That'd be so exciting. What a great fight that'll be, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So what's next, do you think, for, for Jessica then? Do you think Jessica will, will fight, uh, I don't know, maybe, Joanna, maybe, no? Maybe, I guess she's going to be looking at the same fights with Gadela, Yan Xiaonan. Yeah. Um, Joanna's still around, but Joanna's beaten, has Jessica and Joanna fought on? Maybe Joanna, I'm not sure. Maybe Joanna, I, yeah. I read something about Joanna retiring, I'm not sure. Oh really, okay. Maybe. She, she, she can see what she does. I mean, if she retires now, yeah. she, she retires as one of the greatest female fighters ever. Wow, yeah, yeah she did really well. So we'll, we'll see. All right, so let's go back. Okay, Usman, George is done. Oh, let's talk about Alex and Max. This is a very controversial finish. <sighs> Lots of people are debating this. Well, what, saying, what, did you, yeah. what did you score? Okay, so I didn't watch the full fight. I was in, in cover. I was talking with Paul a lot as the fight was happening, and Paul was convinced that Max won the fight based on his stiff jab. He was just working a stiff jab. He's shorter. He has a lot further to go, but all he did was do a very strong reach stiff jab, and he got the points. I mean, the that's according to Paul. The first two rounds. I, I got to watch the fight again. The first two rounds were Max. Okay. The fifth round was probably uh, Volkanovski. Okay. So really, just debating the third and fourth. Oh, okay. I mean, I'd I'd still give it to Max. Personally, but I can see how the judges scored it the other way. All right, I guess. I mean, like, I looked at the scorecards and I watched back some of the rounds, and I wouldn't say I agree with it, but I'm not as pissed off as I was about it yesterday. Okay. Um, the sad thing is that now Volkanovski is 2 and 0 with Max Holloway, so it's hard to sell the third fight now. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The third fight's not going to happen right now, so Volkanovski's yeah. going to be looking at. The Korean Zombie versus Brian Ortega, mm -hmm. or Zabit versus Yair Rodriguez. Both of those fights haven't been confirmed yet, but they're strongly rumored for um, later this year. Okay. So either one of those two fights, Yair Rodriguez versus Zabit. Zabit's the new Russian, the future of Russian champions, they say. So mm -hmm. if they can get Zabit against Volkanovski, that'll be a huge fight. To, uh, be a really good fight, yeah. yeah. Next year. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm very happy that Australia still has a belt Right, um, so, but yeah, it's true, I, I don't know. Max, I really like Max, I just like the way that he fights, I like his oh, style. He, he surprised me, because the whole week I thought he looked in bad shape. Yeah. I thought he looked skinny, I thought he looked gone. Well, he was so on point, right? He was on probably- As soon as he walked in the ring, yeah. As soon as he walked in the ring, he was, he was really, really sharp. Interesting that, yeah. Really. Well, where does Holloway go next? I don't know. I don't yeah. know where he goes next. He's, he's beaten most of the guys in that division. That's right, um, yeah. He won't get the third fight against Volkanovski without another win before that. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, we'll see. But, uh, all in all though, it was a good fight. I'd like to watch it again. I'd obviously like to see Max fight again. I like this style. Yeah. Uh, let's give it to Alexander. Yeah, he, it's good. 
Um, it's a shame for Alexander winning but, and getting so much shit for it. Yeah, it's kind of like, it's, well, he must feel like, okay, what do I got to do in my next fight, right? Yeah. I got to literally break the, dude's, <laughs> yeah. break the dude's head, right? Any of those fights sound good. So the Korean Zombie, Brian Ortega, Yeh Rodriguez, Zabi, mm. Magish, Rapidov, however you say his name. Mm -hmm. Any four of those guys, I'd like to see Volkanovski. Yeah. yeah. Volkanovski. Volkanovski, you were giving me some interesting statistics on him. You were saying he actually... He was a heavyweight. He would, he would come in as a heavyweight because he used no, to play no, no. rugby. Yeah, when he, when he used to play rugby, it was so heavy that if he fought in the UFC at that time, he would have been in the heavyweight category. <laughs> and he's he so was, short. He was a short little he, fucking what, guy. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine physically someone who's who plays rugby and it is that stocky and, and hasn't that much weight? Yeah. Absolutely, he would be extremely fit in the ring he's because actually, he would cut a, down but still have that he's performance. He's sharp. He's in really good shape. Yeah. He's really sharp. Um, Holloway looked better overall than him, overall than him at the weekends, but mm -hmm. Volkanovski is an, he's an athlete and he's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a true, true. Yeah. Um, it's a specimen, spe specimen of a man. Those guys <laughs> laughing at you, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I got my Masvidal uh, wig on. Is that what you call it? Yeah, yeah I mean what Masvidal wig. wig. <laughs> so let's get to the Peter Jan Aldo fight. Yes. That's fight. Okay, I was I was hoping that Aldo would win. Oh, we gotta make our cocktails. Yeah, we're on Fight Island, bro. We should be having cocktails. Yeah. Let's save that coffee for for later. You got any ice? Yeah. Oh shit, we don't have ice, dude. You don't have ice. God we're damn it. We look shit. at this. But yeah, it's like <laughs> slowly but surely we're gonna slowly build our. This is we're we're in a, a little private studio here on Yaz Island. Yeah, a little media, so media tent. I gotta I gotta you know I gotta make requests to UFC headquarters what for we, little what we additions. Having? Fucking whiskey and tomato juice. To whiskey. <laughs> hey, that's what they do here in Abu Dhabi. That's what they do. It helps because of the it's skin, that. right? You, got, you want to have the carrot juice. It's good for your skin. The United Arab cocktail. Yeah, the, the heat is so so strong here. Is that actually tomato juice? No, no, it's carrot juice. Oh, brilliant. It's carrot yeah, juice. Whiskey and carrot juice. Whiskey, yeah, um, whiskey and carrot juice. My bro. fucking mistake. <laughs> Yeah, it's good for good for the skin, right? It's so hot out here in Abu Dhabi, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, right, uh, uh, Peter Jan, cheers. Cheers. All right. Peter Jan. Mm. Right, Peter Jan, Josie Aldo. Um, that. Wow. What do you think of <sighs> that fight? Aldo. Aldo. I was. I was really rooting for Aldo coming in. Came in strong. He was just aggressive. He saw that. I had a tiger look in his eyes. He, he was sharp. just like the whole, his whole back, his whole shoulders were in great shape. Yeah. Uh, he said that his camp went great, he stuck to the diet, he, had a, he was in great physical shape, mentally prepared. Yeah, yeah. And for the first two rounds, he was giving it to Jan. Yeah. Um, yeah. One of, any one of the rounds, he actually had him hurt. But what was yeah. that? No, you know where it changed? Fuck is man. when Jan threw him on the ground and hit him in the, in the solar plexus. Do yeah. you remember that? Oh, where he, ribs. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that was fucked That's up. That's where, like, th yeah. I thought that, that that would be the end of it. I almost was, yeah. But then the, the bell went, right? So You saw the marking on his ribs. Yeah, very that's hard, right. right. But yeah, I think Peter Jan just had the perfect game plan. Jose Aldo's a legend, so you have to respect that. Um, Aldo came out rounds one and two, let him tire out, and then Jan came on strong in the third. Uh, from then, it was all just Peter Jan, to the point where we saw a horrible stoppage at the end of the fight. Mm. Aldo was on his knees, blood pouring out of his face, and the referee wouldn't stop it. Yeah, yeah. So, to the point where Jan actually punched himself out, had to take a breath, and then just kept fucking... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he literally Jackson Pollocked the canvas. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. Thinking back on that fight, it was really that's the, for for Aldo to lose that way. Um, it was hard to watch, man. It was sad. Yeah, it was really I hate sad. Seeing, I hate seeing Josie Aldo lose. After since he lost to Conor McGregor, I hate seeing Josie Aldo lose, man. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah, really, it's such a bummer, right? <laughs> but but uh, he 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 he's had his career, and after a loss like that, and the way that he performed, he he didn't fight five rounds. He went in and tried to. He was he was going for these liver shots, you know. And he was going for these big, heavy body shots, and it was it was kind of I don't know. For I I, I would expect that someone like Peter Yan would be able to take that. Yeah. Those weren't devastating shots enough to be to. And he would he would do a shot, and then he would stay in the pocket, yeah. and Yan would go ba 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 ba, and you know he would. So for every you know one punch that Aldo shot, Yan would throw like four, and it wasn't working. It just yeah. was it wasn't working. Do you know what age Peter Yan is? What age is he? What's what? Twenty six. Twenty six years old. Yeah, he's here for a long time, man. Okay. He's here for a while. So he'll be, yeah, uh, he'll be, he'll, he'll probably keep that belt for a good while. Yeah. He Don't has the, he has the ability to fight the rounds like he should. You know, he in the very end, he did take him down. He stood up. He exchanged. He stayed calm. He didn't waste his energy. Yeah. 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 Josie Aldo's already posted on Instagram saying that he'll be back stronger. So. 
Jose. I mean, what else is he going to do? Like, what else does Jose Aldo do? He doesn't have to do anything. Just keeps he's fighting. Got he's got a yeah, I mean, can he just can he just retire? Just do something else. Yeah. I don't know. Kind of makes you wonder what would have happened with a Jose Aldo fight and like Cejudo fight. Both. That would have been nasty. What's nasty is that fucking whiskey and characters. Yeah. <laughs> You don't like it? Nah, I'm not good. Oh, it's gonna get me nice and tan on this, on these, these, on these, on these, on these, these rays from the beach. Yeah. But yeah, so that was UFC um, two five one at the weekend. Um, overall, oh, overall, at the end of the day, it was an entertaining card. Overall, it was an entertaining card. At least, yeah. at least with Jorge and the Usman fight, as much as it wasn't good to watch, it gives you something to talk about the next day. That's right. So it was yeah, entertaining yeah. anyway. So that was our our little cap off on UFC two five one. How we thought of it. Thanks for watching. We're going to continue on. Um, we got lots more to discuss, but we'll see you there.